welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to send messages to Discord from a website. Let's get into it. So what you want to do is go to the first link in the description, which will be this link, and that will take you to the GitHub page. Once you're there, you can read it in the text form, but this is the video form if you want to watch that. So for the installation, you copy the code from here. You copy all of this and then paste it to where you're editing. In this video, I'm going to be editing in Notepad++. You can download Notepad++ from the description. So, so there is a few things in this file that you can change. And for one, you can change the background image from this, this image. That just says image. You can change that to whatever you like. In this video I'm going to be changing it to the Northern Lights. Then you save that, once you're back in Discord, refresh, and it's changed. What you're going to want to do from, from then is scroll down to the bottom where you see body, and then you want to look for option. Here you'll see it says your server name and replace me. What you want to do is rename this to the channel. Once you've done that, you want to head to Discord. So once you're in Discord, you want to go to the channel that you are using, click on the edit, and then head over to integrations. Once you're in integrations, you'll see it says webhooks. You want to click create webhook, and then here you can change some stuff, like the name of it. For this case, I'm going to say it's called cookie announcer. I don't care if it's spelled right. Shut up. <laughs> and here you can change the image, upload any image you want. Um, in this case, it's going to be the goodnight URL shortener. Then you click save. And then you click on copy webhook URL. Please note, this does not work in the browser. The copy link does not work in the browser. It only works in the client version. And you want to escape that. Then head over to your code, where, it's, where you see it says replace me, you do what it says, you replace it. And if you yours says canary, remove the canary. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you can save that, head over to the website, refresh, and you'll see it says cookie announces. Then you can type whatever you want. And it will send. See? It sends to Discord. Now let's say you want to do video announcements. You can do the same. Go to webhooks. Create webhook. Name it whatever you want. Get a your, uh, an image. In this case it's going to be the Canadian flag. And then you want to save that. Copy that. And then go back to the code. Once you, what you want to do from there is, if you're in Notepad++, Control D. That just duplicates it. If you're in something else, like Visual Studio Code, there is another way. I'll put it on screen now. Um, then you just replace this code with that one. Once again, remove the canary. If you don't know what it is, next you want to do arrow, exclamation mark, dash dash and then dash dash arrow cookies video now once you've done that you can go ahead and save then go back to the website refresh and you can see it has changed now you can type whatever you want however much well, within the two 2000 character limit discord has and you see it will post it even if it's on new lines you can also do the rules you just follow the same steps there will be a new one of this in the next coming months or more uh, which allows you to do embeds if you did enjoy hit like button subscribe if you're new and goodbye